Hey fighters, and now yogis. Before we get started, make sure you have something like this yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, since this is a class for boxers, I assume most of you have a jump rope somewhere nearby. So you can pause this video to grab your jump rope or a long belt, and then once you have it, place it by your side and meet me in a comfortable seated position. If your hips are a little tighter, you might want to grab a pillow or a rolled up blanket and place it underneath your seat. Rest your hands on your lap. You can either have your palms face down for more grounding energy or your palms face up for more receiving energy. Keep your spine nice and tall, shoulders down, and close your eyes. Before we start moving, we'll take a moment just to tune inward. A big part of yoga is bringing awareness to the present. And we use our breath as a tool to help us stay present. Controlling our breath not only helps us in yoga, but it helps us in all parts of life and especially in sports. Controlling your breathing will help to improve your stamina and your focus, both during your fights, as well as recovering in between rounds. So together, let's exhale everything out the mouth, completely empty out. <sighs> Pause at the bottom of your breath. Slowly, take a deep inhale through your nose. Let your stomach expand, your ribs open. Pause at the top of your inhale. Big open mouth exhale, let it go. Again, pausing at the bottom. Another deep inhale through your nose. Find stillness at the top of your breath. Long exhale, release. Couple more. Deep inhale through your nose. Long exhale out your mouth. One more time, take a deep inhale. And a long exhale. Slowly start to grab your strap or your jump rope. Open the strap out wide and hold it with both hands in front of you. You can stay seated cross-legged or you can sit on your shins like I am switching to. And then you're gonna hold your strap in front of you with your hands shoulder width apart. As you inhale, start to lift your straight arms above your head. When you can no longer go further back, evenly separate your hands just enough so your arms can complete the circle all the way back and down. Make sure your arms stay straight and your shoulders stay down. As you inhale, lift your arms back and up. When you get to that sticky spot, you exhale to bring your arms forward and down stay where you are i'm going to turn to face sideways always reset your hands with your hands shoulder width apart make sure you're not arching make sure you're not rounding drop your tailbone down keep your ribs in inhale lift your arms above your head notice where you get stuck Open your hands just wide enough to complete your circle. You should feel a stretch across the front of your shoulders. Inhale to lift your arms back and up. When you get stuck, use your exhale to pull your ribs in and feel your shoulders loosen up just a little bit. Again, reset. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, circle your arms back and down. 
Inhale to reverse, reaching up. And exhale forward and down. Make sure when you're getting over those sticky spots, you do not let one shoulder lift up and then the other. Keep your shoulders pressing down evenly and use your breath to help you. It's okay if you're going slower than me. We'll take a couple more full sets. Again, your inhale always lifts you up and your exhale always gets you over that sticky spot. Good. Wherever you are, take one more full set. Once you bring your arms forward again, go ahead and move your long object off to the side. And start to make your way onto all fours, hands and knees. We're going to warm up the wrists a little bit. Once you're on your hands and your knees, Flip your hands so that your fingers are facing back towards your knees, wrists forward. Start to rock a bit back and forth. Feel that opening across the wrist. And you decide how far back you go. I like to tuck my toes under. I feel like I have a little more control. And if you want to stop rocking and hold the stretch back, go ahead and take what you need. Keep your spine long, shoulders back. And then slowly flip your fingers to face forward again. And then flip your hands so that your palms are facing up and the backs of your hands are touching the mat. Again, you can rock back and forth a bit. Or if you like to, you can stay back and just breathe into the stretch. Slowly release your hands. Have a seat on your heels and shake your hands out. Do some wrist circles, figure eights. And then when you're ready, you're going to return to hands and knees, all fours. Stacking your shoulders right over your wrists, knees, hips width apart. As you inhale, drop your belly down, reach your chest forward, arch. Exhale, push your mat away and round your spine. Again, inhale, arching into cow pose. Exhale, round into cat pose. Couple more. Inhale, tailbone lifts, shoulders back. Exhale, contract. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round your spine. On your next inhale, pause with the neutral spine. Walk your hands about a palm print forward, tuck your toes under, and exhale, lift your hips high to downward facing dog. From here, start to pedal through your feet, bending one knee and then the other. Fighters spend a lot of time on the balls of their feet whether it's in the ring or when they're jump roping. So it's common for the calves to get really tight and the Achilles tendons to get tight. Use this pedaling to start to wake them up and open up. If you're still moving, start to find stillness in your pose. You can keep your knees slightly bent if that feels better in your hamstrings. Ground down through your thumbs and your index fingers and push the mat away, lengthening your spine. Turn your underarms in to face each other. On your inhale, shift forward to plank position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. And then exhale, lift your hips back up, down dog. Again, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, hips back. You shouldn't be moving your hands or your feet. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale to plank and hold it here. 
Feel your inner arms rolling forward, heels reaching back. Tailbone is reaching towards your heels and you're lifting your lower belly in and up. Slowly start to bend your elbows and lower all the way down to your belly. Once you're down, untuck your toes and slide your ha hands back closer to your lower ribs. Inhale, lift your chest, low cobra. Exhale, lower down. A few more. Inhale, lift your chest, keep your elbows in. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up, shoulders pressing back. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale, lift and pause. Hover your hands one inch over your mat, activating the back body. Take one more inhale, lift a little higher and exhale lower. Tuck your toes under, straighten your legs. Inhale, push up to plank. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, deeply bend your knees, bringing your belly towards your thighs. Keep your tailbone reaching up as you slowly push your heels back down. Feel this opening down your calves and your hamstrings. Again, inhale, bend your knees. And if it's available, maybe try keeping your toes lifted up as you reach your heels down. It's going to be a deeper stretch. Two more, inhale, bend your knees. Keep reaching your tailbone up as your heels reach down in the opposite direction. One more time, inhale, bend. And exhale, lengthen the backs of your legs. Good, inhale, lift your heels up nice and high. This time, bend your knees, gaze forward, and walk your feet forward towards your hands. Keep your feet separated, hips width apart. Bend your knees and hang forward and ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows, maybe sway side to side. Keep your weight forward towards the ball mounds of your feet to release your lower back. Relax your neck, crown of your head pointing down. Take one more inhale where you are. As you exhale, release your elbows, bend your knees deeper. Inhale, slowly roll up your spine one vertebrae at a time until you arrive in mountain pose standing tall. Keep your shoulders rolled back. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Exhale, cactus your elbows open, lift your chest arch. And inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, flat back fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, place your hands down and step your left foot back, making sure your right knee stays over your right ankle. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm up, twist. Hug your right hip back and under. Take an inhale. As you exhale, circle your arm forward and down. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale, circle down. Inhale, pause. Exhale, reverse your circle back and down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Take one more inhale, hold it. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes, and then reach your right arm back and down. And then inhale, reach both arms up to your low lunge. Make sure you're hugging your right hip back. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, interlace your hands and place your palms on top of your right thigh. So we're focusing on opening the left hip here. Actively push your palms into your right thigh as you lift your lower belly in and up. Ground down through your left shin as you pick up your left hip bone. You can deepen the bend in your right knee for more intense opening, more intense stretch. Slowly exhale, release your hands down. Tuck your back toes, straighten the back leg. Inhale, step back to plank and exhale, lower down to your belly. Untuck your toes and inhale, lift your chest to one big cobra. 
Your elbows might stay bent. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Take one more inhale and exhale lower. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. Come up to your fingertips, roll your shoulders back. Take an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward, fold. Inhale, flat back to rise, reach your arms above your head, gaze up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Second side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your elbows open. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold all the way forward from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your palms down and step your left, I'm sorry, your right foot back. Keep your right hand down. Inhale, lift your left arm up, twist. Again, make sure your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Take an inhale. Exhale, circle your left arm forward and down. Inhale as you circle back and up. One more full circle. Exhale down. Pause on your next inhale. And exhale, reverse back and down. Inhale to circle up. One more time, exhale back and down. Inhale, pause with your left arm up. Exhale, drop your right knee, untuck your right toes. Circle your left arm back and down. And inhale, reach both arms up, low lunge. Pause here for a moment. You might already feel a stretch in your right hip. From here, interlace your fingers and bring your palms to the top of your left thigh. Again, push down into your left leg as you lift the lower belly in and up. Right shin stays grounded as the right hip bones lift. Maybe deepen the bend in your left knee. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, release your hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck your back toes, straighten the back leg. Inhale, step back to plank. And exhale, slowly lower down to your belly one more time. We're coming into a shoulder opener. Untuck your toes and reach your left arm directly side in line with your left shoulder. So not too high, not too low. Directly side, keep your left palm facing down. Turn your face to the right. Bend your right knee and use your right hand to push yourself open until your right foot touches the ground behind you. Keep your head relaxed down, relax your neck. You should feel a stretch across your left shoulder. If you want a deeper stretch, maybe try bending your left knee and planting both feet on the ground. It's completely optional, take what you need here. Use every exhale to relax the left shoulder, left chest. Take one more inhale where you are and exhale slowly unwind back to your belly. Pull your left hand in, straighten your right arm directly side in line with your right shoulder. Turn your head to face the left, bend your left knee and peel yourself open until your left foot touches the ground behind you. Again, make sure your head and your neck are relaxed down. And if you want to try deepening the stretch here, you can bend your right knee and plant your right foot. If not, keep your right leg long and just breathe.
Take one more inhale. Exhale, unwind back to your belly. Bend both elbows. Plant your palms, tuck your toes under. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg high. And exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. If your foot doesn't make it all the way, you can always give yourself a helping hand and scoot your foot forward. Come up to your fingertips, take an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your left foot forward, fold. Inhale, flat back to rise, arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms back up. This time, grab your left wrist with your right hand and reach up and over to the right side bend. Inhale, return to center, switch your grips. Reach up and over to your left. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. As you exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank position. From here, you can bring your knees down for support or keep your knees lifted in your high plank. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward of your wrists, and exhale, lower halfway chaturanga, keep your elbows in. Without letting your legs touch the ground, untuck your toes and inhale, lift your chest up, roll your shoulders back, upward facing dog. From here, tuck your toes back under and push the mat away, lifting your hips back and up to downward facing dog. That was sun salutation A. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, lightly step or hop your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, flat back to stand, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Again, inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, keep your shoulders back. Exhale, hands come down, step to plank. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, lower, halfway chaturanga. Untuck your toes, inhale, lift your chest, shoulders back, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips high, downward facing dog. We'll add on from here. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot forward right between your hands. From here, lower your left heel all the way down to the mat for warrior two. Line up your front heel with your back arch like you're standing on a tightrope. Your left toes are at about a 45 degree angle. Inhale, open up your arms. So you're stacking your shoulders over your hips, warrior two. Your front knee is tracking straight forward in line with your middle toes. Left heel, left pinky toe grounding down. Reach out through both hands, press your shoulders down. As you inhale, straighten your right leg, reach both arms up. Exhale, re-bend your right knee, warrior two. Again, inhale, reach up, rise. Exhale to your warrior. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Keep your legs, flip your right palm up. Inhale, reach back, reverse. Stay here as you grab your right wrist with your left hand. Use your left hand to lengthen your right side waist. Take an inhale. Exhale to side angle, bring your right elbow to your right thigh, sweep your left arm across your left ear. Keep your shoulders pressing down both sides of your waist, long and even. Without changing anything, reach your right arm up alongside your right ear and hold it. Let that right leg fire up. Keep that right knee bent. Inhale, lift the chest, stack the shoulders over your hips. 
Exhale, press the arms down, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, rise. And then pull your left heel in, bend both knees, and take a few rocks side to side in your goddess pose, like a sumo squat. Hands are on your thighs. Inhale, pause in the center. Exhale, twist to drop your left shoulder down. I'm opposite of you. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist, drop your right shoulder down, gently pressing the right thigh open. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist, drop your left shoulder. One more time, inhale, center. And exhale, drop your right shoulder. Inhale in the middle. Bring your hands down. Again, I'm opposite of you. Start to bend your left knee as you straighten your right leg. We're taking a side lunge towards the back of our mat. Make sure your left knee and your left toes are pointing in the same direction wherever that is for you. And make sure both arms, both hands are on the inside of your left foot. You can keep your hands down or you can bring your hands together maybe gently pressing the back of your left arm to your inner left leg. It's okay if your left heel doesn't touch the floor. If your hands are lifted, bring your hands down and shift over to the other side. Bend your right knee, straighten the left leg. Again, make sure your right knee and your right toes are pointing in the same direction. Hands are on the inside of your right foot, maybe hands pressing together at your heart center. Couple breaths here. If your hands are lifted, bring them back to your mat. Pivot to face the front of your mat so you're in your runner's lunge, right knee bent. Inhale, step back to plank. Either exhale to chaturanga and flow or exhale straight back to downward facing dog. Second side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. Again, roll your right heel down, line up your feet. And inhale, open up your arms to warrior two. So left knee is bent. Right leg straight and strong. You're gazing over your left middle finger. On your inhale, straighten your left leg, reach both arms up. Exhale, bend your left knee, warrior two. Two more times, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your left palm, inhale, reach back, reverse. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Use your right hand to lengthen your left side waist. Take one more inhale. Exhale, side angle. Bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Reach your right arm across your right ear. Again, we're not collapsed or relaxing, shoulders pressing down. Without moving anything, reach your left arm up across your left ear. Keep rolling the chest forward. Keep your left knee bent. Inhale, stack the shoulders over your hips. Exhale, press your arms down, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your left leg, arms up. And this time, turn your left toes in as you bring your hands to your hips. Stay where you are, I'm turning to face you. Press your tailbone down, inhale, lift your chest arch, and exhale, flat back fold all the way forward. As you inhale, walk your hands forward, come to a flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, keep the length in your spine as you walk your hands back in and fold. Notice if your shoulders are down by your ears, actively lift your shoulders up your back. Keep your weight forward towards the ball mounds of your feet and lift up through your kneecaps, keeping your quads engaged to safely open your hamstrings. Your neck is relaxed, crown of your head pointing straight down.
Inhale, walk your hands forward. Flat back. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Twist. Try to keep your hips level. Maybe look up towards your right hand. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower your right hand down underneath your face, switching sides. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Tailbone reaching back, head reaching forward. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower your hand. Pivot to face the front of your mat. Returning to your lunge, your left knee should be forward. Plant your palms, inhale, step back to plank. And exhale, take your flow or go straight to downward facing dog. On your inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. We're gonna step forward to a Malasana Yogi Squat. Bring your feet forward and open up your hips so that your heels are in, toes are out. It's okay if your heels don't touch the floor. Bring your palms to your heart center. Drop your tailbone, long spine. Bring your right hand down. As you inhale, reach your left arm up. Notice if your left knee collapsed in, actively press the left thigh open. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, bring your hands back to center. Other side, left hand comes down. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Keep pressing the right thigh open. We're opening the hips and the inner thighs here. Exhale, bring your hands back to center. Take an inhale, sit up taller, drop your shoulders. Exhale, hands down, stretch your legs, turn your toes in. You can wiggle out your legs, shake your knees. Keep your feet hips width apart and inhale, flat back, lift up halfway. From here, interlace your hands behind your back and lengthen your arms. If interlacing your fingers doesn't work for your shoulders, grab your strap or your jump rope and hold the strap behind you, walking your hands as close together as you can. Once you're there, stay for one more inhale. Bend your knees and exhale, fold forward over your legs, allowing your arms to fall up and behind your head. Shift your weight forward, relax your neck. Keep your left knee bent. And as you inhale, start to straighten your right leg as you turn your chest to face the right. Feel a deeper stretch across your right shoulder. Take one more inhale. Exhale, re-bend your right knee, return your chest to center. Inhale, straighten your left leg, turn your chest to face the left. Exhale, bend your left knee, again chest back to center. Stay in the middle for one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back to rise, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your feet all, together, all the way together for chair pose. Bend your knees and inhale, reach your arms up. This time, keep your weight back in your heels. If you look down, you should be able to see and lift your toes. Stay for an inhale, sink your hips lower. Exhale, stretch your legs, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. As you exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Inhale, lift your arms up, low lunge. We've been here before. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus your elbows open, arch. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down. Tuck your back toes, straighten your back leg. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, reach your arm, right arm up. From here, turn your right foot to face the right. Roll to your left pinky toe and drop your hips down. Notice my left leg is still straight. Look towards your right hand. Inhale, unwind, plant your right palm down. Lower your left heel and inhale, open up to warrior two. 
Inhale, straighten your right leg, reach both arms up. Exhale, re-bend your right knee back to your warrior. Flip your right palm, inhale, reach back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, bring your right elbow to your right thigh, reach your left arm across your left ear. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Inhale, straighten your right leg as you lift up. This time, pull your left heel in and bend your left knee side lunge to the back of your mat. You can bring your hands down or maybe try keeping your hands lifted and go no hands, shift over to the right. Side lunge to the front of your mat. Bring your hands down, pivot to face the front, lunge. Inhale, step back to plank. Stack your left shoulder over your left wrist and inhale, open up the right arm, side plank. If this bothers your wrist, come down to your left elbow. Keep pressing down to lift your hips up, reach your right arm across your right ear. Take one more inhale, exhale to plank, and either lower to chaturanga or go straight to downward facing dog. So we're combining everything we've already done. One more side. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or float forward to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up. Weight back in your heels. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, stretch your legs, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your hands down, step your right foot back. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Inhale, lift your arms up, low lunge. Stay for an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus your elbows open, lift the chest. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, lower your hands down, frame your left foot. Tuck your back toes, straighten your back leg. Inhale, reach your left arm up, twist. From here, turn your left foot to face the left. Roll your right pinky toe down and drop your hips down, look towards your left hand. On your inhale, press down to lift your hips back up, unwind, left hand down. Lower your right heel and inhale, open up your arms, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your left leg, reach both arms up. Exhale, back to your warrior. Flip your left palm, inhale, reach back, reverse. Exhale, side angle, left elbow to your left thigh, reach your right arm across your right ear. Stay here, reach your left arm across your left ear. Inhale, straighten your left leg, stand tall. Exhale, pull your right heel in, bend your right knee, side lunge to the back of your mat. Hands can come down or keep the hands lifted, shift over to your left. Take an inhale here, bring your hands down, pivot to face the front of your mat. Inhale, step back to plank. Stack your right shoulder over your right wrist, side plank, lift the left arm up. From here, reach your left arm across your left ear. Keep pressing straight down to lift your hips even higher. Take one more inhale. Exhale, unwind to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or straight to down dog. Good work, guys. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back to rise, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're gonna take a short balancing sequence. Ground down your left foot and inhale, reach your right thigh up to one leg in mountain pose. Both arms reach up. Keep your right hip pressing down. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, twist to face the right. Reach your left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, return to center, both arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. 
Start to kick your right leg straight back to warrior three. Flex your right foot so your right toes are facing straight down. Hug your left hip, left glute into the midline. Shoulders are pressing back. You're focusing on one point below you. Slowly bend your left knee, reach your right toes down, and inhale, lift your arms up to high lunge. Take an inhale. Exhale, another twist to face your left. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, lower your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. Maintain your twist as you exhale, drop your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and bring your hands together. Actively press your top palm down into the bottom. Roll your shoulders back. Stay for an inhale, hug your left hip under. As you exhale, unwind, bring your hands down next to your left foot. Inhale, shift forward, lift your right leg up, standing splits. Try to keep your hands as close to your left foot as you can and relax your neck, think forehead towards your shin. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, step your right foot next to your left. Inhale, flat back, bring your hands to your hips and stand tall. Second side. Standing on your right leg, inhale, reach your left leg up, one leg in mountain pose, arms above your head. As you exhale, twist to face your left, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reach your arms up, return to center. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take your time here as you kick your left leg straight back to warrior three. Keep rolling your left hip down to keep your hip bones square, left toes facing down. Feel your right hip, right glute engage. Stay for one more inhale. As you exhale, slowly bend your right knee and reach your left toes far back, landing in your lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, twist to face your right left arm forward, right arm back. Lower your right hand down. Inhale, reach your left arm up, reverse. Maintain your twist. Exhale, drop your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Bring your palms together. Press your right palm down into your left. Keep rolling your shoulders back. Reach up through your left hamstring. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, unwind, bring your hands down next to your right foot. Inhale, lift your left leg up, standing splits. Again, relax your neck. Think forehead towards your right shin. Take one more inhale. And exhale, slowly lower your left foot down next to your right. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Bring your hands to your hips and stand tall. We're going to take our final sun salutation A. Inhale, reach your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, flat back, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths. Take one more inhale and exhale, drop your knees down. Puppy dog pose. We're gonna start to walk our hands forward. Make sure your hips stay stacked over your knees. As you walk forward, look forward, drop your chest and your chin. If your chest doesn't reach the mat, go ahead and drop your forehead down, but keep focusing on melting your shoulder blades down into your chest. Try to breathe here. Relax your chest closer to the mat.
to come out of this, press into your palms, lift your forearms, and start to walk your hands back. Sit on your heels, grab your strap or your jump rope, and we're gonna take one more shoulder opener. I'm gonna turn my back to you so that you can do the exact same side as me. Bring your strap to your right hand. Once you have it, go ahead and open both arms out to the side. Lift your right arm up and bend your right elbow so your right hand falls behind your head. Flip your left thumb down and then bend your left elbow and grab the bottom of your strap with your left hand. Once you have your strap, start to walk your fingers as close together as you can. Keep your strap or if you can interlace your fingers or grab hands, you can just let go of the strap. Stay where you are as I turn to face the side. Just like I mentioned earlier, you don't want to over arch or over round your back or your neck. Drop your tailbone down, keep the ribs in and sit up nice and tall, chin off of your chest. This pose can be a little bit uncomfortable. Try to breathe into the discomfort. Little by little, as you exhale, you might be able to walk your hands a little closer together. Slowly release your hands and shake out your shoulders. And we'll switch sides. Grab your strap in your left hand. Same thing, open your arms out to the side. Lift your left arm above your head, bend your left elbow, flip your right thumb down and reach back and around for your strap. Once you've got the strap, start to walk your hands, your fingers closer together. Your sides might be uneven. For me, this is my tighter side, so I'm going to keep my strap this time. Again, stay where you are, check out your spine, drop the tailbone, knit the ribs in. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Continue to breathe, using your exhales to relax your shoulders a little more and walk your fingers a little closer together. Slowly release your hands, move your strap off to the side, and shake out your shoulders. All right, guys, from here, we're gonna stay on our shins and take one more back bend. So camel pose, make sure your knees are directly underneath your hips and tuck your toes under to lift your heels up. Bring your hands up to your hips and hug your elbows in. Roll your shoulders back and start to press your tailbone down as you lift your chest straight up. This might be enough for you today, or if you want to go deeper, one by one, bring your hands down towards your heels. Notice my thumbs are on the outside. Flip your palms to face forward so your shoulders can roll open. And then you can keep your chin tucked, or if it's okay on your neck, you can drop your head back. Wherever you are, Keep reaching your tailbone down towards the backs of your knees as you reach up in opposition with your chest, keeping your spine as long as possible. If your head is dropped back, leave your head there. Start to bring your hands to your lower back and then untuck your toes, push your tailbone down and have a seat on your heels. Bring your hands to your lap, close your eyes and take a moment of stillness. This was camel pose, and it's natural for your heart rate to pick up in this big heart opener. We're gonna take it one more time. Sit up on your shins, bring your hands to your hips. If you felt great in that last pose, you can untuck your toes, which will make your heels come down. It'll be a further reach. Same thing to start, bring your hands to your lower back, hug your elbows in. Roll your shoulders back and lift your chest. 
Again, stay here, or if you're reaching down, try reaching your other arm first. Once you're ready, stay here or drop your head back. Keep rolling your shoulders open, chest lifting up, tailbone reaching down. Again, if your head is back, you are going to leave your head back. When you're ready, you can slowly start to bring your hands back up to your lower back. Start to push your tailbone down as you sit towards your heels, allow your head to roll up last. Pause again with your hands on your lap and close your eyes. Let your spine reset. Come back to your breath. From here, we're gonna stay on the ground. So shift your hips to one side and swing your legs in front of you. Bend your knees, planting your feet about hips width apart and make your way down to your back. Arms down by your sides, keep your palms facing down. We're gonna do a few dynamic bridges. As you inhale, lift your hips up and reach your arms back beside your ears. Exhale, slowly lower your hips and your arms down at the same time. If your hips came down first, you need to slow down your hips and let your arms catch up. Again, inhale, lift your hips up, reach the arms back. One vertebrae at a time, slowly roll down. Hips and hands reach the mat together. Couple more. Inhale, reach your arms back, hips up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, up and back. Let this be a massage for your back. Exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Good, stay down. We'll take a figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Reach your right arm between your legs, left arm on the outside, and interlace your hands behind your left leg. Notice your right foot. Flex your right heel forward. Pull the right toes back to protect your right knee. Use your arms to hug your legs in towards your chest as you reach your tailbone away from you, lengthening your spine along the mat. Feel your right hip, right glute open up here. Release your hands, uncross your legs, switching sides. Left ankle across your right thigh. Reach your left arm between your legs, right arm on the outside. Interlace your hands behind your right leg. Flex your left heel away from you. And again, as you pull your legs in, reach your tailbone down. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Breathe into your left hip, left glute. Release your hands, uncross your legs, and hug your knees into your chest. Take a few rocks side to side or small circles massaging your back. Both directions. And then start to rock back and forth up and down the length of your spine until eventually you rock up to sitting. Once you're seated, straighten both legs in front of you. Keep your right leg straight, bend your left knee, and open your left knee out to the side. Inhale, reach both arms up, twist to face your right leg, and exhale, fold forward. This is a twist and a forward fold at the same time. If you can't reach your foot, you can also use your strap or your jump rope around your right foot to keep your shoulders pressing down, spine long. 
or you can just let your hands fall wherever they land while hinging from the hips. Inhale to sit up tall and bring your left hand behind your left hip. Press down to inhale, lift your hips up. Try to plant your right sole of your foot down. Big chest expansion here. Exhale, have a seat and we'll switch sides. Straighten your left leg, pull your right knee in and open your right knee out to the side. Again, inhale, reach your arms up. Twist to face your left leg and fold forward. Grab your strap or your jump rope if you need it. Think of hugging your left hip back and dropping your right shoulder down. Inhale to sit up. Bring your right hand behind your right hip. Inhale, push down to lift your hips up, opening up the chest, the front body. And exhale, have a seat. Straighten your right leg next to your left, both legs long. Inhale, reach your arms up one more time. And exhale, flat back, fold forward. Again, you don't want to be over rounding. You don't want your shoulders up by your ears. If you cannot reach your feet, grab your strap around your feet. Keep the shoulders pressing down as the elbows bend. Over time, as your hamstrings start to open, you'll be able to walk your fingers little by little closer to your feet until you're all the way down. Use your inhales to lengthen your spine and your exhales to fold a little deeper. Inhale to roll up. And one more time, exhale, make your way down to your back one vertebrae at a time. Once you're down, hug your right knee into your chest. Keep your right knee close to you as you make your way into your twist. Cross your right knee over to the left and open your right arm out to the side. Finish your twist with your cervical spine by looking over your right shoulder. Make sure both shoulders are pressing down evenly. Inhale, return your right knee back to center and gently switch sides. Straighten the right leg long, hug your left knee into your chest. Again, try to keep your knee as close to you as you can as you cross your left knee over to your right, open up your left arm and gaze over your left shoulder. Keep both shoulders pressing down. Inhale, return your left knee to center and pull your right knee in to join the left, both knees to your chest. Open up for a happy baby, soles of your feet facing up. You can grab your ankles or grab the outsides of your feet with your arms staying on the inside of your legs or even just press your hands to your inner thighs. You can hold still, let your knees melt open or you can rock side to side Maybe extend your legs open and close. When you feel ready, 
start to hug your knees back in and we'll slowly make our way into our final resting pose. Lengthen your legs long in front of you, arms down by your sides. Flip your palms to face up so your shoulders roll open. Make sure your arms and your legs are not touching anything around you, including your strap or your jump rope. Close your eyes and let your breathing become natural. We'll use these next few minutes to allow the body to absorb all the benefits of the practice. Shavasana. Slowly, start to bring awareness back to your breath. Deepen your inhales and lengthen your exhales. Start to bring movement to your fingers and your toes, wrists and ankles. Rock your head side to side. As you inhale, reach both arms up and back beside your ears, full body stretch to the tips of your toes. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest for one final squeeze. And 
and gently roll to one side, pausing in a fetal position, your pose of rebirth, renewal. And with the help of your hands, press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, spine tall, exhale everything out. <sighs> Slowly, take a deep inhale through your nose, lift your arms above your head, pause at the top. Open mouth, exhale, hands to the heart. <sighs> Bowing our chin to our chest with love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you have any questions or requests for more, go ahead and leave a comment below.